Greetings, we meet again. It is currently October 2nd of the year 2025. The beverage of choice this time was green tea, which explains my calm yet unwavering enthusiasm for product improvements. Let us advance. It appears we have another feature drop for September. How groundbreaking. The aforementioned feature drops clear away some of the tedious rituals of your day. What you do with that save time is entirely up to you. Knit? Yaddle? Perhaps finally teach Gerald the Squirrel differential equations. Omnison will simply keep the marketing part handled. That much is certain. And for those seeking further enlightenment, you may consult the information provided from the link in the description. Let us continue with add-ons. In campaigns and automations, personalization has become almost unsettingly intelligent. A new recommendation type now suggests products similar to past purchases. Customers may wonder how you knew, but you will not explain. Instead, you will smile knowingly, like a dungeon master who just rolled a net 20. Conditional content blocks have also been introduced, adjusting what people see based on properties, tags, and segments. And personalized recommendations inside automations remain complementary until October 16th, after which they will ascend into a paid add-on realm. To maintain order, you may now also pause or resume add-ons directly in store settings. Finally, power at molecular level. Audience! Comes next. Yotpo migrations are now up to 10 times faster. Not twice, not three times, 10. It's like comparing a domestic chicken to an East African cheetah. The migration dashboard is right inside the add contacts modal, and periodic sync refreshes contacts every 24 hours. Reports have also evolved into something far more superior. They now export as PDFs. Campaigns, automations, and sales all rendered neatly with charts and KPIs. Segment performance exports are included as well, in CSV for detail-oriented or in PDF for those who enjoy visual tidiness. Moreover, audience growth reports now support custom date ranges, plus channel tracking and a new unsubscribe metric. Data? The way it should be. The interface itself has also not been neglected. Progress bars now animate, confirmations look sharper, empty states are friendlier, even loaders and navigation have received subtle refinements. One could almost say the platform now renders at a higher frame rate. And integrations. The October lineup is quite considerable. Trackship, Rough Rough, Instant Section and Page Builder, Retention.com, Hero Analytics, Wufu, Recurly, Viral Loops, Chargebee, Wonderment, Seal Subscriptions, and Zoho CRM. Each one extends the system, expands the arsenal, and if I may say, adds several new modules to the grand operating system that is Omnisend. And that concludes the October updates. I shall return with more next month. Until the next cycle, may your unsubscribes be mercifully low, your integrations bountiful, and your green tea never steeped too long. Farewell.